we're going to check out a couple jars of my pink oyster mushroom grain spawn that I am growing. And we're going to go ahead and look it over and I'll show you some of the things to look for to make sure it's not contaminated or moldy. So anyway, and I got two different grains here and they're actually the mycelium is growing differently on the two different grains. It's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. This one right here is from barley and it's kind of interesting how this one actually had more mass on the top of it. And this one right here is wheat and it's lighter as it's going through it but like I said with the barley it's more thick but anyway if you look at it really close a lot of um, bad bacteria are gonna be blue or green colored like molds but this one here has a pink tint to it because it's actually um, pink oyster mushrooms and the mycelium has a slight pink tint to it but if you look at it really close most um, oyster mushroom myceliums are going to be white and if you look you can see how it's kind of like got little I don't know we want to call it like veins or roots or whatever that kind of run through there and it grows in one big mass as it's going through the the grain itself like that right there and of course where it started growing first right underneath my injection port that's a one key right there where you actually put your liquid mycelium or your liquid spores where it starts growing to make sure that's where it's actually going to started growing and that's what it did with these same with this underneath this port right here that's where it started growing right underneath the port where it was injected into and if you I mean if you look really close you can see it's got lots of like cobwebby but it's kind of like a mass one mass and a lot of times if you got bad bacteria or your grains weren't cleaned up enough you're gonna be it's gonna be more spotted it's not gonna be growing in one big sheet like this all started from one spot and it just started growing through but it's all completely connected now if you get bad like mold or something like that you'll get lots of spots and it's gonna look or some bacteria are gonna look like slimy I'm pretty new to this so this is my actual first time I've done grain spawn myself and it actually turned out quite well like I said the barley it grew much thicker but all this has a slight pinkish tint for to it and what you want to look for like I said is any bluish or any odd colors green that's gonna be main indicators or slimy wet looking like this here it's there's no wet looking to it it's dry and like this jar right here it's got a lot of fuzziness to the top which is what molds will do too they will actually get like fuzzy on the top but like I said with the indications if you look at it you'll see how it's veining through there and growing in one mass that's a pretty good indication that it's not contaminated So anyway, this is my first attempt at it, and I got eight jars, and they are, every one of them turned out perfect. I used my Presto electric digital canner, and that thing makes it so nice. It's, three, it's around $300, so it's not cheap. I got it off of Amazon definitely not cheap but 
I've done so much other canning with it, it just makes it fun to have. And it's so much easier than a manual stovetop canner. Anyway, when it gets to this point, if you shake it up, it helps it spread throughout the grains a little bit better, but that'll be another video. So anyway, as you can see, this has got a pinkish tint to it, and it is totally healthy. It looks moldy, but that's what mycelium does. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you sterilize them grains. That's your best chance. All right. Bye.